welcome students to a new topic of english 1 before we start students think of the time when you went outside and simply watched something happening did you watch a dog running in the park other children playing the clouds moving in the sky children you may not have realized but you are acting like scientists one of the very first things scientists do is watch or observe the world around them in today's lesson you will learn more about what scientists do so let us begin topic 2.7 great scientists the lesson begins with a beautiful quote by mr apj abdul kalam great scientists are persevering and never deterred by difficulties children the meaning of persevering is hard working and deterred is discouraged so great scientists are hard working and never discouraged by difficulties children here is the hero of our story yes he is michael faraday Michael Faraday is regarded as one of the most distinguished the meaning of distinguished is famous and respected scientists and inventors of modern times and his work on electricity is still a subject of study in the form of Faraday's laws but few know his inspirational life story which is all about courage and fighting against the odds children michael faraday was born into a poverty stricken family in a dirty london suburb he suffered from a speech defect as a child he would pronounce rabbit as wabbit he could not even say his own name and would call himself faraday other children laughed at him and teachers did not help him either when he was 12 his mother was forced to take him out of school thus putting an end to his formal education at 13 however he started working with a book binder binding hundreds of book during the day and staying up all night to read them reading thus became his obsession children the meaning of obsession is passion one day he came across a book on electricity which had been sent to his master for binding he started reading it and was completely hooked children the meaning of hooked is enjoyed something so much that you were unable to stop doing it that was his first introduction to the subject of electricity which soon became a lifelong fascination children the meaning of fascination is interest let us read the chapter faraday was still poor at 21 once a friend gave him a free ticket to a public lecture and demonstration by the renowned chemist humphry davy at london's royal institution Davy's work on chemicals and electrical lighting was the subject of conversation among the scientists of that age. Seventy years later, across the Atlantic Ocean in the USA, the same work enabled Thomas Edison to produce the first consistent light bulb. That day in 1812, Faraday was spellbound by Davy's lecture. He kept taking notes about the mysterious force of electric fluid. He was so engrossed in the lecture that he forgot to applaud with the rest of the crowd. When he went back, his notes were so comprehensive that he bound them into a book, meaning to gift it to Davy some day. Faraday decided that day that he did not just want to sell books. he wanted to be a great scientist good enough to write his own books davy became his role model but there was a problem he did not have the social status 
money or education to pursue science. Faraday thought it would be wonderful if Devi became his mentor. But Devi did not agree initially. Faraday was not dejected. He just kept trying. Children, once a friend of Faraday gave him a free ticket to a public lecture and demonstration by renowned chemist Humphrey Davy at London's Royal Institution. Davy's work on chemicals and electrical lighting was the subject of conversation among the scientists of that age. Seventeen years later, Across the Atlantic Ocean in the USA, the same work enabled Thomas Edison to produce the first consistent light bulb. That day in 1812, Faraday was spellbound. Children, the meaning of spellbound is completely mesmerized or captivated by someone or something. By Davy's lecture, Faraday kept on taking notes about the mysterious force of electric fluid. He was so engrossed in the lecture that he forgot to applaud with the rest of the crowd. When he went back, his notes were so comprehensive. Children, the meaning of comprehensive is complete. That means it included everything that he bounded them into a book, meaning to gift it to Davy someday. Children, that was the day Faraday decided that he did not just want to sell books, he wanted to be a great scientist. Davy became his role model. But there was a problem and that was, first, he did not have the social status. Second, money. Third, education to pursue science. Faraday thought it would be wonderful if Davy became his guide. But Davy did not agree initially. Faraday was not sad. He just kept trying. Destiny had a strange plan in store for him. A few years later, a chemical explosion happened inside Davy's lab and he was temporarily blinded. And now he needed an assistant with an excellent memory to help him. He was reminded of Faraday and decided to hire him as his secretary. Considering Faraday's social status and education, Davy never believed that he could do anything in the field of science and so advised him to stick to bookbinding. But Faraday was relentless. He worked day and night and learned as much as he could about Davy's experiments. Soon Faraday became absolutely necessary to Davy and was promoted to his lab assistant. Though much of his job now was cleaning labs, at least he got to see some of Davy's leading experiments. Let us read the chapter, children. Even then, Davy did not have much hope for Faraday. Then, Faraday caught another chance to prove himself. One day, Davy tried to recreate a famous electromagnetism experiment with fellow chemist William Wollaston. Exploring why when an electric current is applied to a wire, it causes that wire to behave like a magnet. Obviously, the forces were connected, but nobody had figured out how to make it happen continuously. Davy believed that if he could find out why it happened and controlled it, there could be many practical applications of the force. But he was unable to figure it out and was frustrated. He then teased Faraday, asking him to try his hand at it 
after he was done cleaning the lab. Within a few days, Faraday solved the problem. In fact, he went further and the result was the first induction motor, which converted electrical current into continuous mechanical motion. Children, still Davy did not have much hope for Faraday. Then Faraday got one more chance to prove himself. One day, Davy tried to recreate a famous electromagnetism experiment with fellow chemist William Wollaston. The forces were connected, but nobody had figured out how to make it happen continuously. Davy believed that if he could find out why it happened and controlled it, there could be many practical applications of the force, but he was unable to figure it out and was frustrated. He then teased Faraday, asking him to try his hand at it after he was done cleaning the lab. Within few days, Faraday solved the problem. In fact, he went further and the result was the first induction motor which converted electrical current into continuous mechanical motion. The induction motor started a revolution. Fans, air conditioning, sewing machines, photographs, power tools, cars and even trains and aeroplane engines grew out of this simple device which was born out of mockery. The meaning of it is worthless version of something directed by Faraday. Students, I hope so far everything was clear to you. Please see that you read the chapter and watch the video once again to have a better understanding. Thank you and take care.